So a strange, strange opening here to the opening night at Sovereign Bank Stadium. And now they're going to call in from the first base coaching box, perhaps a reinforcement. And that's outfielder Jack Heedley. Castro was in the game at shortstop. And now Heedley will come in. They'll send a new first base coach out. And this isn't easy on Chris Steinborn, who's trying to get into a, into a rhythm. And he's going to pass the time by throwing some more warm-ups. We, we lost the first one. Um, but we had some excitement. Nate Espy hit the first home run. Uh, majestic shot over the arch nemesis. Brooks Robinson was in the booth with us when it happened. Um, and I, you could hear him in the background reacting to it, and that was kind of funny. Um, but it, it almost, it, it was almost kind of cool that we, that we lost the first night, as bad as that sounded, because the first night was all about the first and all about being there. And then the next night we won, and that was all about, you know, the first home win. So, um, and before long, I mean, that, that 2007 team, it was right around mid-season when we brought in Jason Espido and a couple other moves. It was right around that time that that team started to take flight. So, you know, we maybe had a, a rough first home stand or two, but it, it wasn't long into our home schedule that we were playing really, really well. And uh, we swept Bridgeport to end the first half and knocked them out of the playoffs, and a couple of those wins were really dramatic so you know it, it didn't take long until we were I think our fans would have been thrilled uh, to have this team here no matter what they did but it, it didn't take long until we were you know, really giving them some good baseball to watch. Here's the wind and the 2-0 pitch and SP swings and bounces it foul toward third. The only thing you guys ever had your wall out there was Earl's tomato plants right? That's right Earl Weaver had a tomato plant down that left field line and we'd take batting practice everyone would try to pull those balls right down there. <laughs> he used to get mad too but he had a big uh, contest going on with the uh, Pat Santeron, the groundskeeper there who could raise uh, the biggest tomatoes.